there are areas where you should be scared as an employer because it's complex. And I think one of them is uh, reporting requirements, what you must do. And then we'll talk about, uh, you know, the penalties associated with the, with non-compliance in, in a second. Just let, let take, take us into reporting requirements, Brian. Sure. So uh, when we're talking about reporting requirements, the, the main form we're talking about is this form uh, uh, 1095C. Uh, and th these are basically tax forms that uh, you're going to file under ACCA with uh, the IRS each year. Um, as to uh, health coverage, so basically the idea is that reporting relate, you know, relates to health coverage in the prior calendar year and it's due you know, early the next calendar year. So for coverage provided in 2021, uh, the ACA deadlines you know, range from uh, February 28th, uh, I think if, uh, if paper filing up to uh, March 31st, if, uh, if electronically filing. Uh, and so, you know, what, what is this uh, 1095 C form? So basically, uh, you know, as we know, ACA requires, you know, the large employers to offer, you know, their full-time employees qualifying health coverage. Uh, and so it follows that those large employers are required to report, uh, you know, certain health insurance information to the IRS. Uh, and that includes a 1095 and there's a 1094 C that's pretty much just a summary of the company's, uh, 1095 forms. Uh, and so this helps the IRS determine, you know, whether employees were eligible for subsidies. Uh, and therefore, whether there you know, could be any penalties for the employer in that year. Um, so again, like I said, the deadlines are early in the year uh, and the, the deadlines depend on whether you're filing paper or electronic. And my advice here would be to file electronically, all things you know, being equal, because you get a later deadline. Uh, if, if you're filing uh, electronically, you have a March 31st deadline, uh, instead of uh, you know February 28th as it was this year, um, so you know there are also deadlines uh, you know for um, for state reporting. There are some states that still require um, some ACA related uh, state filings, which are similar but not identical to what's filed federally. Um, just a number of the uh, California, uh, Massachusetts, uh, the District of Columbia, to name a couple. Uh, so, you know, pay attention if there are separate state uh, deadlines for filing the, uh, the 1095s or related forms uh, in your jurisdiction. You know, in, in addition to those filings, you know, there, there are notices too that, uh, under ACA that need to be uh, given out to employees, uh, either, you know, talking about at the outset of employment uh, or uh, depending on certain triggers. Um, and so- you some, say, no, say, more, say more what you mean by that. Sure, so I think the first one we have, the, the notice of marketplace coverage options. Uh, that, that's a written notice that goes to employees that basically tells them about the health insurance marketplace for, for individuals. Uh, that's it's that's provided within I believe it's 14 days of uh, their start of employment. It's not an annual form. It's just you know that one time, uh, and you know you can look to the DOL. The D, uh, Department of Labor has uh, template notices, uh, and there's one template for those who offer insurance, one for those who don't offer, uh, because this notice requirement. Uh, is actually for both large and small employers. So the notice of marketplace coverage options, you know, whether or not you're a large employer, so whether you have you know, five employees or a hundred employees, this is a notice that uh, that you should be providing uh, you know, at the outset of employment.